I would say the most important thing is verification. And let me walk over there and I grab a tool. So what we have here is a two pole vault tester. So what this is, is we've, we have to disconnect an electric vehicle and we have to verify the electric vehicle is safe. And everybody who goes through this process of learning this will learn one thing, verification, verification, verification. Then what we do is we want to verify that this tool, also after we tested zero potential, still works. So, and this is what is so important, then our life depends on this tool. I want to know, okay, my vehicle is disconnected. My vehicle has zero potential and not 400 volts. It shows me maybe nothing in the display, then it don't react on the voltage. Is the tool really operating? I have to go always to a known voltage source and verify before I use the tool and after I use the tool. And this sounds really, really annoying for a lot of people like, oh my God, I have to verify it again. Oh my God, I have to do it again. And, but after the five days, those people get it. They understand why we're doing this. Then your life is depending on it. And that's the new world what we're living on. So this is really, really important. Another really, really important aspect is you see maybe those covers what we have here. We printed them with a 3D printer for our own purpose for those cards. I want to take those two ones here and I show you something at this card. So what is really important is when I open this connector. This is a high voltage connector like we, yeah, we use in all kinds of electric vehicles. So now we come to a repair process and we, let's say this is called a DC-DC converter and this part failed, whatever reason, and somebody has to take it out and have to put a new part in. Now he has to order the part. Maybe he took it out to verify which part number it is, took it out, the cable hangs down like this, and two weeks later, the new part shows up. Two weeks is now the risk that dirt, dust, and other environmental thing goes into this connector. And this is a no-go. So two weeks of having a problem, it could be a occur. So, you know, can we have to we call this room, I'm sorry, I, may, I bring another avenue here in. This room is called a lab. And we call it a laboratory in regards to the cleanliness of the necessary work environment we have to force our industry in. It can't be happening that there is a stall, somebody is grinding off something, there is a stall, somebody is welding something. No, we have to have isolated areas for electric vehicles and we have to make sure that those connectors are covered, that no dirt or dust comes in. When there comes dirt and dust comes in, the resistance of this connection is elevating. And we talk here about milliohms, not ohms anymore, what we are used to, milliohms. And when we have a one milliohm here, then we are in a good area. When we have 10 milliohm here, we are in a critical area. We have 20 milliohm in this connection, that thing will burn. And this is, has to be the awareness, and that has to be the knowledge our technicians have to have. That you think you repaired everything quality, complete and safe, send the driver or the owner of the vehicle out and think, hey, you key back. And he goes the first time on the highway, push the throttle through, and then it's smoking out of the back. And those our new challenges, this is our new life, and this is the knowledge what we have to give out that people understand, and make sure connectors are covered, for example. Part of our training is one really important aspect as well is bonding, and this is a little station what we built and where people or technicians, participants can, and, and really verify bonding connections. So what bonding means is, 
every component in a high voltage system has to be bonded together. Usually we use the chassis. So let's say there's a charger, there's an inverter, everything is connected to the chassis with bonding cables like you can see them here on this board. And this is our lifesaver. This is important for making isolation onboard testing in the vehicle. So this is a really important aspect uh, for electric vehicles. And we have here a little, little demonstration when I say lifesaver. And I want to give it over to Joel that he explains a little bit the life-saving aspect here. Thank you, Derek. Um, Joel Dufkis, I'm the ADOS and AV instructor here for iCar. So what we have here is we have our bonding board and it simulates our typical car here. So we have our, chass our vehicle chassis on the outside. We have different modules here. The middle module is going to be our battery, high voltage battery, which has a high voltage fuse inside there, the red light. And we have two other modules that can be whatever. If we have faults on here, we have positive negative faults that can happen in the isolation. Um, so say on this is my DC to DC converter, let's have a positive isolation fault. I have my little, uh, my little frog guy here. If he's working on the car, I'm just trying to do this one handed. And he's touching everything. Even though there's a fault in this, in this module here, he's safe because the bonding is helping save him from, from issues. Now let's say I have a negative fault in this, in this module over here. When I do that, my fuse blows and it keeps me safe because nothing bad's going to happen. But let's say we have a bad bonding cable, not proper bonding, too much resistance in the bonding. Well now, my fuse is not blown, but I have a fault in the system. I have a positive fault on one side, a negative fault on the other side. If we know anything about electricity, Positive and negative are going to make a, a bad, bad combination here. So now, as I'm working, I'm working over here. I go and touch this module. The light lights up, which means you're electrocuted. So these bonding cables are, are going to be able to save your life in these kind of situations because electricity is going to flow in the path of least resistance. These cables have the lowest resistance in the car, so they're going to go through that before they go through you. Uh, another cool thing that we have is we have these, um, <clears throat> we have these meters these milliohmeters, which are going to measure your milliohm readings. And these cables are all, uh, the bonding cables are 25 millimeter squared cabling, which has one milliohm of resistance per meter of cabling. So we can actually use this meter and actually figure out cabling lengths based on what the resistance is in there. And we can go through and check the whole vehicle, make sure it's safe so that we don't end up like our uh, frog guy here. So our typical DVOM, if we put a regular DVOM on this cable right here, it'll say zero, zero ohms. Um, there's not zero ohms there. Uh, <clears throat> so if we actually measure this cable right now, we have 2.1 milliohms. So this is getting really far down in the scale, but it's needed and necessary in this situation to make sure we have the lowest amount of resistance possible so that the electricity has another path besides through me 